In order to work with bullets in Microsoft Publisher, I'm going to draw a text box right here and I'm going to add in width. So I'm going to say this is width 1, width 2 and width 3, just like that. Now in order to add in bullets, I'm going to select this out and, and I'm going to go into my home and I'm going to click this icon right here called bullets. And I can select different type of bullets right here. So I'm going to go over here, go over here and select different type of bullets just like that over here and over here as you can see so different type of bullets are actually there now what we can also do is go to bullets and numbering right here and there are different type of bullets that you can choose from so you can go over here you can increase the size of the bullet right here as you can see and press ok and the bullet size increases just like that i can also go over here go to bullets and numbering and Change the indentation so you can see that now there's 0.65 inch of indentation. Press OK and there's the indentation according to what we chose. I'm going to go to bullets and numbering again and I'm going to decrease this out and I can select character and over here you can select any of the font character that you wish to use from any of the font right here. I'm just going to use the default symbol menu right here and let's say I want to use the check mark. I'm going to press OK and OK and there you go. The check mark is there. Check mark bulleted list. Another thing you can use is the numbered list. You can also directly click, click over here and then choose the number list and the number list appears. Or you can go over here, bullets and numbering. It's the same option as you can see. You can just move back and forth right there. There's the format that's one, two, three. There's another format of Romanized number as you can see right here. Or you can select other numbers as well. So you can go for other numbers such as first, second, third right here. Or you can also go for other numbers over here like one, two, three, uh, first, second, third and so forth. Just like that. And once I press enter, you can see that fourth appears. And um, if I were to type something, press enter, another thing appears just like this. But uh, what is happening is that I'm seeing this dot right here. So I want to remove that out. So I'm going to select this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over here, go to bullets and numbering. And here you can see that the separator is a dot. So now I can select different type of separator. I can also say none and I'm, I can say start at first. You can also start at uh, second or third. As you can see, you can just click here. I'm just going to say first and I'm, I can increase the indentation right here as well and press OK. And I can see that you have first word, second word and so forth. So I'm just going to increase the indentation again. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go into bullets and numbering, increase the indentation, press OK. And you can see that the indentation actually increases just like that. So that is how you can work with uh, bullets and numbered list in Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.